Welcome back, everyone. Let's get into the work. So from the concept map, I'm going to jump into assembly diagrams. Let's see what that's all about. So instructions. Sometimes we need to be able to read manuals in order to complete the task. These tasks could be setting up a new cell phone or assembling a new chair. Either way, some of times these things come with instructions that we need to follow to figure out what we need to do. So, if I look at this example, we have the number of parts on this side, all right, being the left, and the steps to assemble this office chair on the right-hand side. All right, so looking at these things, Okay, um, oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button there. Okay, we've got one of those. We've got four of those. We've got two of those. There are four of those, and there's one of those. That's what that means. All right, it tells us the amount of pieces that come inside, maybe the box, that we need to put together to create this chair at the very end. That's what it means there. So let's read the question. Determine how many pieces in total will be used to assemble 75 office chairs. All right, so let's see what I've done. I said that there's, okay, let's get rid of those so we can recount them. All right, one of those, check, plus four of those, check, plus two of those, check, plus four of those, check, plus one of those. All right, so that's the sum of all of those parts to make one chair. But how many chairs are we making? We're assembling 75 office chairs. So that's why I times it by 75. All right, if I add all that up, I get 12, and 12 times 75, there's a total of 900 pieces that could be assembled. Wow. So let's move along. Give a detailed description of how an office chair should be assembled. Now, in this case, we've got to start at step one and continue the process until the chair is assembled. Very last step. So, let's see what we've got to do first. All right, that one. Okay. Um, there. Oh. Still around. So, to do this piece, step one. There it is. All right. What do we need to do? We need to screw the two bars together with that big screw, the initial one. There it is, there at the bottom. Do you see what we're doing there? We're taking that screw, we're taking the two larger bars, this one and that one, placing them across and using the big screw to tighten that in. All right, there we go. That's step one. All right, so this is step one. Okay, the next one, step two. What are we doing here? Insert the four rubber stoppers to the end of the four legs of the chair. So looking at the diagram, do you see these little stoppers here? They go at the bottom of your chair. All right, that's what we're saying there. So that's why you've got to be clear with your instructions when answering this. Look at the picture, see what's happening in the picture, write down your answer. All right, next one. All right. Step three. So looking at this, what exactly is going on here? A few things. We are using the four small screws. Here they are, those little guys. All right, there's one, two, three, four of them. Use those four screws to attach the seats. There it is. So this chair is taking shape. All right, to attach the seat to those bars that we've already assembled. All right, great stuff. And then the chair is complete. All right, so that's how we would follow these instructions to build one office chair. Okay, great stuff. All right, so then we can go to that one. Now, working lengthwise. All right, let's see what we need to do here. So we often asked to calculate the amount of an object that can fit across the length of an object and the amount of the object that can fit across the breadth or width. All right, so sometimes we've got to do these things. Now, when we're doing these things, we've got to keep in mind maths literacy rounding off. Okay, and you'll see what I mean by that when we get stuck into these questions. So, um, there we go. 
a landscaper <coughs> excuse me wants to plant grass onto the rectangular sandy patch of land we got to take note of the shapes that are given to us the grass is cut into square pieces measuring one meter by one meter how many squares of grass are needed to fit along the length of the sandy patch so looking at this all right there you go there's one patch of land now if it's going across the length you agree it's going across this way all right that's its length that's the measurement of the length it's going across all nine meters so that piece the piece that just appeared that fits across come on now there you go that piece in terms of the length so we've got to see okay fine if you look again there's the same length and where's that going on that side and it'll keep going so we've got to see how many times that little piece fits into nine how much does that little piece measure it measures one meter so what's my calculation my calculation is nine divided by that one so i can fit nine squares across the length nice work right we're getting there okay um here we go david wants to wrap that's a shape david wants to wrap four candles into a square box calculate the length of the box right length of the box if the diameter of one candle is seven centimeters as we shown here on the diagram so what's happening now if you look very carefully here for this particular example the diameter fits from one end there up to that point if we fit in another candle that diameter will then touch this one and it will continue again at seven centimeters do you see that so these two things because they touch the diameters then give us the length ah there we go that's what's happening so what we've got to do is we want to fit four candles into this box lengthwise so if we're fitting four candles it'll be seven centimeters oh that's a bit skewed seven centimeters is one candle multiply that by four we will then fit in 28 candles excellent nice work well done let's take a short break when we get back we'll pick up where i left off see you in a bit <laughs> 